Rapper, artist, son of America, sweetheart. <laughs> anyway, he did. <laughs> Stop the quote fingers. <laughs> it's They're getting kind of gross. <laughs> if you do it long enough, it becomes disgusting. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> she is the creator and star of Showtime's work in progress. Please welcome Abby McEnany. Abby, thank you so much for being here. Ah, oh, thanks, John. It's really nice to be here. I'm very nervous. Nervous? Oh, come on. Come Dude. on. Nervous. <laughs> a couple, uh, shocking. Uh, first of all, <laughs> podcast, incredibly low stakes. Uh, <laughs> so I wouldn't worry about that. That'd be my first thing I'd say. I don't have a second point. That's really the only oh, point. I was going to say, I was like, is there another point? Because I'm ready for it. I guess, you know what it was? I'll tell you, there was a second point. My second point was going to be something like, and you're so wonderful and you're so great. But I felt like you didn't need that and you didn't need want me to do that. And nobody wanted it. Right. You know what exactly I mean? Exactly right. Because we've never met. And we've then never like, met. you know, I'm new in this business and boy, people <laughs> tell you that they don't fucking know me. I mean... <laughs> They're going to be like, when they meet, they're like, you're a fucking trash bag. I'm like, bitch, I've been telling you this whole time. <laughs> you know I mean? But see, this is why I was. I think there's no reason to be nervous. Oh, okay. You know, you've already, you're already, honestly, you're, you're, you're already better than most of the guests we've had. <laughs> okay, we're going to, let's, let's uh, circle back at the end of this thing and you'll be like, I'd like to retract everything in the first 32 seconds. Let's get into it. All right. What a week. This week, <laughs> Fox News' is Peter Ducey questioned White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki about Biden's contributions to vaccine hesitancy when he said not to trust Donald Trump, to which Psaki responded, The former president was also suggesting people inject versions of poison into their veins to cure COVID. So I think that's a relevant and, point. And that's called... Abby. Fun stuff? It's called dropping a Ducey. Oh, no! Oh, <laughs> my God! I sh You know what? I should always let people know I really... Shockingly enough, knowing my language, I hate bathroom humor. Okay, so you know put it in the fucking to... comments, Abby. I don't. <laughs> no, first of all, uh, but you know what? The way you do it was a f hugely classy act. Oh my! God. See, that's even uh, that was more diss on me than you, John. Am I? I'm, see, you want to start again? I'm sorry. I'm fucking no, up. No, we're not starting again. I'm not doing this again. We did the intro. We're not gonna be able to capture this again. This this energy is a one time thing. <laughs> Emotionally, like, like our first meeting. We're not going to redo it. I'm not going to fake this chemistry. It's a one time thing because I'm never having you back. They're going to see you again. I know. Not after this. <laughs> not after the way I've been treated. <laughs> I don't think so. I think. I think we're... Honestly, I'm glad you're bringing this energy. I'm in a really strange. So just so you know. Uh, tell me everything. We, <laughs> <laughs> just so you know. We're recording a bunch of stuff today, okay. and this is, I believe, our 33rd episode in a row, right? I don't believe we missed one in 33 weeks. Brian, do you have the exact number? Of course you don't. Fucking lazy piece of shit. But <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brian, you and I have a lot in common. Don't know who you are, but yeah. Lazy so, piece of shit? That's my niche. <laughs> so the point is, we're recording We're recording this. We're recording basically two and a half episodes today. Oh, it's our last oh. episode. I'm, I'm, I'm out of town. I'm going to the White Lotus on Sunday. Cannot wait. Uh, no, you're not for real. <laughs> not going to the White Lotus. I was going to seriously like... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I was like, that's living that life, baby. <laughs> <laughs> the point is, I'm in a strange headspace, and this is the right energy. Marjorie, okay. I'm getting back to the news. Marjorie Taylor Green. Oh, big fan. And you know what? <laughs> She's a fan of me. Oh, is she? Oh, she yeah. Loves, yeah. I uh, represent everything she loves about our freedoms. <laughs> I, yeah, she seems like a huge Showtime person. Oh my God, yeah. She loves big, fat, masculine dykes. <laughs> <laughs> she represents Facebook's 14th Congressional District. She's been suspended from Twitter yet again, this time for a tweet declaring that the FDA should not approve the COVID vaccines because they are, quote, failing, end quote. Speaking of people we only know about because our society is broken, Chet Hanks. Oh my God! The rapper, artist, chameleon. Son First of, of all, <laughs> yes, oh, no, I'm sorry. please. I'm, 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 I'm such a bitch. Jump I'm in, doing, jump no, in. No, I'm, I mean, I, I'm, doing, uh, I'm doing quote marks for you. When you go back to rapper, artist, I'm going, uh, okay, quote marks. I tried to put the quote marks with my intonation. I was you know to... you did, and I'm a piece of shit. See, <laughs> uh, I told you this from the beginning. God, I'm such, I'll stop interrupting. That's a bullshit lie. Okay, continue. Rapper, artist, 
Son of America, sweetheart. <laughs> anyway, he did. <laughs> Stop the quote fingers. <laughs> it's They're getting kind of gross. <laughs> if you do it long enough, it becomes disgusting. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> the point is... <laughs> He's a, he did a video, Chet Hanks, son of Tom Hanks and Rita Wilson, the best celebrities we have. He did an anti-vax video. So Marjorie Taylor Greene, anti-vax. Yeah. Chet Hanks, anti-vax. Yeah. And then impossibly, Marjorie is walking down the hallway with a stack of papers. Uh, they're printed out word jumbles. Uh, and Chet <laughs> is coming down the same hallway on the phone. He's in a big record deal negotiation with someone who is not in the record business. <laughs> He's drinking a hot coffee. They're both distracted. They smash in, they smash <gasps> into each other. Yeah. Words are exchanged. Yeah. And then they both realize we're both heading to the same green room to do a segment on Hannity and the producers accidentally double booked us. You leave, says the failed rapper, most famous for pretending to speak with, our, with various accents. No, you leave, says the crank who found out about the Holocaust as an adult. But there was something between yeah. them. Yeah. A feeling. Yeah. And let's just say it was a spark that could melt steel beams. <laughs> and, uh, that, for, by the way, I want to, you know, something. Look, we're kidding around here. All right. We're joking about interrupting. All right. Yeah. We're having a good time. Yeah. But what I saw was a generous performer who was like, you know what? This is clearly building to something. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hang back till we get to the end. Yeah. And I, you know, I'm thrilled. <laughs> I'm thrilled I did because it, it killed. <laughs> It was well worth it. And I took everything I had, you know. But it was, you nailed it. I'm thrilled. Thrilled. He's thrilled. I thought that you were setting up like a meat cute for like mm-hmm. the worst pilot ever. Yep, which you worst, are. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Or maybe, you, oh, you know what? Let's make it a uh, a made for TV movie. Yeah. Let's get it on Netflix. Netflix yeah. is saving the rom com. You know? Oh, my God. Yeah. It, you know, it's saving something. So I don't know what that means. Yep. <laughs> Put it in the comments, Abby. <laughs> <laughs> On Monday, Andrew Cuomo's former assistant, Brittany Camisso, sat down with CBS this morning to discuss her allegations of sexual harassment. Calling out Cuomo's claim that he's just affectionate with everyone, Qu- Camisso said these were not hugs that he would give his mother or his brother, which I guess means his mother and brother didn't get the fucking promotion. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I think his brother was doing pretty well until recently. Yeah. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. see. I mean, fingers crossed. There is an ethical issue, obviously, with- Yeah, there is! (laughs) I love that you you looked up and like, you know what? One thing is, I'm pretty sure there's an ethical issue here. Uh Uh, Uh-huh. There is. There is. There is. There is. Mm Mm-hmm. That's it. I'll leave it there. No, no. That, oh, there's a second part that Here's nobody point. needs. Here's... <laughs> Put in the fucking comment. No, so... Okay. <laughs> Here's what I mean. When Andrew Cuomo and Chris Cuomo were doing their kind of brother act, Mm -hmm. that is ethically questionable, but it's not a secret. They're not pretending they're not brothers. He's not pretending to not be biased. It's obviously, you know, you have to, you can, he has to disclose. Everyone knows he's going to have a bias. I do think that there was clearly a moment where he needed to speak more forcefully about basically like, I am not going to cover these allegations. They are serious. I will leave it up to other journalists. I think kind of going dark the way they have has not been good. But it seems like the problem, it's like people are like, Chris Cuomo is still talking to his brother. Of course he's still talking yeah, to his brother. his brother. It's his brother. Your problem is that they were too chummy on television before. But actually, this doesn't make that worse. That was just a problem right. that you were uncomfortable with at the time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because like what like I mean not to get too uh, heavy about stuff that I can't th- like don't know enough. Of. What is journalism? And it goes <laughs> like why was that allowed? Like why was, they should have done a fucking like you know Sunday dinner at the Cuomo's like a little podcast and they talk this shit. But like that's not fucking news. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Oh, I'm gonna the learn re- a lot. The reason they did it, you're not. The reason they did it is because people loved it. They loved mm-hmm. seeing Andrew Cuomo and Chris Cuomo sure. yucking it up giving each other brotherly shit. And so the audience really liked it, right? Like this was something like the chummy way, the chummy way in which a a CNN anchor and a governor interacted was like something people liked to see. I thought it was charming, right? Like I didn't know what was about to happen. But But you knew they were brothers and that's the important thing. But I knew they were brothers. Okay, you know what? And they were brothers. They were. 
let's trim this all down. Let's cut this down just to the part where to we were critical. <laughs> <laughs> to, to, to point you know where, where before Abby just cut this to the critical parts. Cut it down all the way to just the critical parts. <laughs> Let's just get out of this. Let's get out of this safely. Maybe leave this in now. Now it's funny to talk about only now, leaving in the critical parts. Does Chris Cuomo have daughters? Because I didn't see here he an apology to his nieces. I'll tell you that. <laughs> tell you, she'll tell you that. She'll tell you that. <laughs> she'll tell you that. Oh, right, again, nobody cares. Right, copy. Over on Twitter, Alec Baldwin mourned Cuomo's resignation, lamenting, Regardless of what you think of Cuomo, this is a tragic day. Party politics in this country draw ambitious but ultimately isolated, even socially maladjusted men and women who, given the current cancel culture, will likely have their shortcomings exposed and magnified. It really makes you think that Alec Baldwin is surrounded by people who pretend he's smart all the time. Like, nothing is clearer to me than the fact that Alec, Alec Baldwin at a dinner party is the fucking worst. Right. I And also, like, yeah, Alec Baldwin, a known defender of women and girls, including his <laughs> daughter, yeah. uh, says, like, oh, boy, this is a tra- tragic... You, let, let's, uh, let's start using the word tragic and tragedy uh, appropriately, sir. Jesus yeah, it's, Christ. And also, whoever's invited him into a, a dinner party, that's on them. Woody Allen. Them. Woody Allen is the person who's inviting oh. him. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> that's okay. what's happening. That's I'm real. I'm sorry. That, I, okay, but I'm sorry. We're going to start with, and like, Woody Allen, you're buried the lead. Fuck everybody at that table. <laughs> Although, you know what? God bless. If you need help, blink twice. We'll come get you. <laughs> <laughs> blink twice. Abby will come get you. Also, I don't drive and I'm in a, yeah, but I'll come, I'll come find you. We'll figure it out. Don't, we'll, yes. we'll, we'll, we'll get bogged down in the details. Yes! Why you blink, we? we'll come get you. Yeah. <laughs> She's not blinking. Someone's going to blink at her. Yes. Thank you mm-hmm. very much. <laughs> I know. Uh, just so you know, John goes, just uh, exhaled and did a, a lot through his, he's, uh, he's over this. Yeah, those are but audible. He, okay, I know, but like, it, he looked he looked very distressed. I don't know if that was, oh, sorry, it was in your intonation. Fuck me. <laughs> uh, let's go <laughs> Wait, are we okay, John? Wait, are we? Having, I'm having a ball. Are we okay? I can't tell. You, 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 you know what? You fucking can tell that I'm having a great time. I don't right? know it. You I know, know you, you can. You no, can. You I, don't I, know I, me, I but you know, know I'm you. having a good time. All right, you know that we're having a blast in here. All right. Anyway, climate change. <laughs> Big Back report. to more fun stuff. Yeah. Uh, from the United Nations, drop this week, issuing a quote code red for humanity end quote, and sounding a death knell for coal and fossil fuel, which is driving global warming. You call that a death knell, said ExxonMobil CEO, a demon riding a horse through a field of bones. <laughs> That's all I have for that. <laughs> That's all you need. That was, gal- that was killer, baby. <laughs> yeah, call that a death knell. Oh, shit. Hey, you know what? That can be our meet cute pilot. We're- <laughs> death knell. It's called death knell. <laughs> it's called death knell. It only lasts one ep. It's about <laughs> her name is Nell. <laughs> Death Nell. Death Nell. Oh, Jody Foster. Yes. The film Nell is worth a national conversation. I would like a, a season of American Crime Story by Ryan Murphy to focus yeah. on the creation of Nell and the decisions that went into the making of that film. Uh, because it is an extraordinary text from a from a from a from a fascinating time in American uh-huh. history, the 1990s. Uh the seriousness with which they approached this film, Liam Neeson, Jodie Foster, the accent, <laughs> the science of Nell. Yeah. That's it. That's all I have. Oh, okay. See, I love, I love it. And also, I have to say, uh, like, uh, truth be told, I never saw it. However, I did say uh, M- Little Man Tate, which I thought Little was Little Man a- Tate. Little Man Tate. I remember Little Man Tate. I saw that in the theater with my mom, and I was fucking crying like a bitch. A little melancholy the, for me. Yeah, yeah. and at the end, my mom was like, well, I guess that kind of hit some stuff. I was like, yeah, I guess so, Mom. Uh, yeah. Were you, were, did you always feel like uh, a tiny little genius? First of all, I never felt tiny and or little and never felt like a genius. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I think it was just bit like, like isolated kids. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. kids that mm-hmm. don't feel, yeah. Yeah. Matilda, you know? Oh. Never saw it, but yes. I'm way older than you. I mean, it's a the nineties. Doll book. <laughs> like, I know, I know. I thought you meant the movie. I did mean the movie. Fuck. Also, yeah. Okay, you know what? You, you son of a. I mean, <laughs> the climate. 
it's bad. It's, it's, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's, we're However, in trouble. There, we are in trouble. We're in trouble. There's yes. a, the report says there is still a window of opportunity during which we can reduce emissions and avoid the worst outcomes. All we have to do, we just have to do one thing, uh-huh. which is more than anything we've ever done in human history. Just one thing, which is just more than we've ever uh, done before. Uh, that's all it takes. And oh. Abby, I don't know how many times I'm going to have to say this uh, until it's taken as American policy. We're going to have to get the carbon out of the air. And I know that there's reasons that people think we're not going to be able to do that, that it's yeah. impossible, that mm-hmm. the technology won't work. We can't count on it. And even if we do capture greenhouse gases, we still have to do a lot to reduce emissions. Anyway, I'm fine with all that. I get right? that. We're going to yeah. have to get it out of the air. We're we going to have to build giant, in my mind, giant machines. Huge! That, that suck carbon suck. dioxide and other climate changing gases out of the air. Yes! And we're going to have to turn them into other things like cement or Ooh. underground things. Just underground bury things. them. Yes. And, and one thing that I have learned, <laughs> there's no environmental problem you can't solve by hiding it underground. That's what we do. We got to find a place. We got to bury it. We got to yes. get the carbon out of the air. Yep. And we got to bury it. Got to bury it in the ground. Yeah. And I think it's queers that grew up. Uh, I think we've learned that burying stuff really does ju- wonders. We got to queer that- the climate. We got <laughs> to gotta- queer the climate. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Except uh, finally we like bust it out of the uh, hiding and then we don't want that shit to bust out. You know what I'm talking mm-hmm. about. Yeah, we Listen, know. Listen, you, you know when you <laughs> you know what when, when you said, and I can't say it enough, I thought you were gonna say, and that's all I have. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait for that. Quentin Tarantino Ugh. revealed this week he has never given his mother money after she mocked his desire to be a writer when he was twelve years old, though he did help her out of a jam with the IRS. Now parents everywhere will think twice before they tell their kids, I'm not sure you get to use that word. <laughs> <laughs> he also said, but I have to say, the way that she said she didn't think my writing was any good is that it inspired me to work harder. So now I have all this fucking money and some very problematic art. So you know what? <laughs> like, <laughs> it was like, yeah, so I never bought her a fucking house. I was like, wow, all right. And, I, and that's all I had. <laughs> And finally, David Schwimmer has officially denied rumors that he's dating Jennifer Aniston. David Schwimmer, he hardly knows her. (laughs) (laughs) Buddy, I was there the whole time and I'm thrilled. (laughs) I'm thrilled. I love it. Hey, David Schwimmer um, is in this great show called Intelligence. I don't know if you've seen it. It's on uh, Peacock with Nick Mm. Muhammad, who created and wrote it. Have you seen that? No, I didn't know that Peacock launched. (laughs) <laughs> wait is there something in th- oh no oh. i'm happy with peacock i don't okay, know what you- i'm good with like, i'm good with peacock i, I didn't I'm, know I just- if i had to worry about it stuff uh <laughs> I, my, my mind is like oh, I'm sure. um yeah so it's really good and you know nip and hobby like anyways it's really funny i i would check it out i i don't know anybody involved in that show but i think it's really good we love it well, we got David Schumer in a new show on Peacock. Yeah, well, season two. And, also, and Nick Muhammad, who we know Nick as uh, Nate the Great from uh, Nate Ted the Lasso. Great He's from brilliant. Ted Lasso. You, oh. Peacock, <laughs> Paramount Plus. There's so many great places to watch great things these days. Oh, oh my God. Wait, is this is this like podcast uh, uh, support? No, we're oh, unaffiliated. That, okay. We're unaffiliated. I thought maybe this was like, Netflix, oh, here's some. Here's, HBO <laughs> Max, Apple. We can talk about them all. Showtime. Showtime. Okay, that was that Showtime. was a little. We love all of our uh, sister networks, a, a part of the Viacom family. <laughs> <laughs> Abby McAnee. Oh, thank God you get to take goodbye to me. <laughs> Sorry, I, this I was so much fun. This was so much fun. It was so great to meet you. What a delight! Everybody, watch Work in Progress on Showtime. Abby McAnee. Bye. Thank you so much.